it's difficult to find a small, traditional liberal arts college smack dab in the middle of the city instead of in the middle of nowhere. So that's exactly what you have with Loyola University, Maryland. Loyola University is a Catholic school of the Jesuit tradition, which means it has a pretty traditional curriculum, a core curriculum full of general requirements that everyone has to take before they graduate, no matter what they're studying. It also has a strong tradition of community service. More than half of the students there are involved in some type of community service before they graduate as well. Loyola University is a small school. It's under 4,000 students, and the classes are capped at 35 students. So if you're looking for a small class size, this is a great option. There is no Greek life there, and there's a strict uh, alcohol policy. So much of the social life is actually off campus in Baltimore, which is where it's located. But there's plenty of stuff on campus too. For example, the tradition of midnight breakfast, which is a free breakfast from midnight to 2 a.m. every weekend. The big sports on campus are lacrosse and soccer, and plenty of students come to watch those games. For admissions, students apply to either arts and sciences or the schools of business uh, or education and there are about 10,000 applications for every thousand spots open, so it's a pretty selective school. It's one of the schools that's test optional, which means you do not have to send SAT scores or ACT scores if you don't want to, but if you choose not to send those scores, Loyola will ask for an additional letter of recommendation. So if you're looking for a small school with, with all the amenities of a major city, Loyola University is a great option to add to your college list. here are so nice. I love my classes. I feel like I'm learning so much. I don't, it's just like such a good environment and I'm having so much fun. You had your orientation group and your orientation group was your Messina class. So we did, I did like so much stuff with my Messina class. And then every like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, there were like events on campus. So like Thursday night we had a hypnotist show and then like midnight snack and like Saturday night we had casino night. They just had like events all throughout the day and um, the majority of them weren't optional, but even the ones that weren't option uh, that were optional, I went to just because they were fun and met new people. So I did a, a pre-fall program, which is basically I moved in a week early. My group was really small; it was 13 people, and it was a program called Student Orientation to Service. So we did like service for four days, and I've been really close with those that group of people, and they're just like so grounded, and they're just like selfless people, and they're some of like the funniest and nicest people I've ever met. Even the people I'm not really friends with, like they're so nice. Like someone will just stop me and just asking me how I am, or or like someone will like sit down with you in the cafeteria if you're like sitting by yourself and they're always just like really nice. The main one on campus for freshmen is Flannery and it's incredible. It is like H style dorms and they're massive. So I'm in Hopkins Court, the only freshman dorm on this side, which is like across the road and over a bridge. It's really nice. I think my dorm is actually pretty big. The only thing I don't love is we have communal bathrooms, but the situation is kind of weird it's communal bathrooms but each bathroom is like only one stall so it's like a shower and a toilet so i'm sharing the one stall or like the one bathroom with six girls and it usually is two showers and two toilets for eight girls my ras who expected to be like horrible are so nice and they like will like sit and talk to you about like the tv shows you like we already have three or four different programs for the floor and they're talking about doing like a family style dinner one night they just like really look out for us. Loyola actually has this really weird thing called move week where you're allowed to move rooms without any questions asked. So right now it's not a problem because anyone who had problems just moved. I think it's kind of strange. I haven't heard of any since move week. So basically you have the move week and like they'll send out a list of the rooms that are open and like the people who are in it and you can move to any of those rooms like no questions asked. You take four and then one of them is your Messina which is required and your Messina is your living learning community. So basically you can pick your Messina and it's like a pairing. So I'm in philosophy and effective writing. So I'll be taking effective writing next semester. So you have your core four and then philosophy is part of my core. That's the reason you take five. My professors are great. I take five classes. So my favorite two are probably philosophy and English and the professors in those are just so engaged. I think that's just like the best word to describe them. They're all super engaging. There's a lot of reading. I wouldn't say it's like, challenging i'd say the hardest part is like i mean you can read stuff but not really read it it's a manageable amount of work um but if you're really gonna pay attention and do well i'd say it's <laughs> kind of a lot <laughs>
There are two main cafeterias, um, Boulder and Iggy's. Boulder is the main one. There's like a bridge that divides campus. It's on North Charles Street. So Iggy's is on my side of campus and Boulder's on the other side. The food is actually way better than I was expecting, but there's basically no variety. And we have like a, a boar's head kind of thing. So it's like pasta, sandwiches, salads, and then dessert. Loyola's D1, the athletes are pretty intense. We don't have a football team, so a lot of people like going to sports games isn't big at all. I've heard it gets bigger during basketball and lacrosse season. Basketball and lacrosse are a big sport. A lot of people do like intramurals or go to the FAC, which is the fitness and aquatic center, like ranked second for best gym in the country. So a lot of people will go there. I see a lot more people like working out than I do like see playing sports. I would say Friday night, I see like more people on campus. And then Saturday night, like everyone's gone. A lot of people go to Towson. I would say Loyola is a little bit quiet on the weekends. We don't have Greek life or anything like that. I feel safe on campus. They have campus police you can call if you feel unsafe when you're walking. And then they have a student escort service that you can call. How much time I have. It's weird, I'll spend like two hours at dinner just talking to my friend. And I didn't think I had time for that. I think in high school, I was always so stressed out, like feeling like I wouldn't have time. Like I would just go home straight after school and do my homework because I didn't really think I had time to do anything else. And then here, I'm a little more relaxed. You know, go out to dinner, or go to the poster fair, or just like hang out in my friend's dorm, or go to the fac, and I think that has really surprised me. I kind of wish I knew more about Messina, the living learning community, because I actually like, I just knew you like live and learn together. That doesn't make sense. But, um, I knew that you lived with the people who were in your class, but I didn't know about all this extra stuff. Like we go out and do programs together. Like my professor took us to the farmer's market the other day. We're going to Hamlet tonight. We're all going out to dinner together tonight. And I just feel like that would have eased a lot of my anxiety because Messina does really help like get you prepared going into your first week of school because you already know your professor, you already know your classmates, you already have like a group of like 20 people that is like built in. And I feel like if I knew all that, I would be a lot less anxious going into school.